Today we're opening a box of 3-pack blisters from Twilight Masquerade. What pulls can we get? Let's find out. Alright, as you might have noticed, audio is a bit screwed up on this video, so... We've got a bit of a voiceover going on here. But yeah, this is what we're gonna open today. A full box of 3-pack blisters. So it's gonna be 36 packs in total. Hopefully some good pulls. Let's get going. Alright, so we've got two types of packs. There's the Snorlax, there's six of them, and there's gonna be the Reverie Room, also six of them. So, plenty of variety there, lots of packs. Uh, let's take a look at all the code cards. No, no, I don't have the usual code card montage for this time, only the video, but that's alright. And here are the promo cards, the Reverie Room, and also the Snorlax, they they look quite good. I'm a big fan of these. The Snorlax is eating, obviously, so very cute. All right, doing a voiceover is going to be weird, but let's see if we get some first pack magic. First pack of the day for Twilight Masquerade is the code card, and what we have a Crawdon, the far fetched. Come on. We can do this by catching set, Agron, Shinx, Conkler. Ooh, nice, we've got a Carmine, full art trainer. That's a very nice start. Very, very nice start, actually. And on the second pack of Ninetales, some of the best art on the Ninetales, as usual. Come on, Love Ball, Glimora, Ariados. Ogus Mask. Okay, okay, a Frostlass. An illustration rare on the second pack. That's cool. That's very cool. Great start so far. As we had into the third pack. So the packs are grouped in three, so it's gonna be for each of the three pack blisters as well. So you 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 can know more or less what we get into each set as we didn't get anything on the third pack, but that's okay. This is such a cute Bollywag. <laughs> such a nice card. Come on, Conkler. Diplin. Bollywrath. Okay, just an Iron Leaves, but that's okay. We, we can't always get a pull, right? We, we, need, we need some packs that are a bit dud, otherwise it's pull after pull and we get through the collection in no time. As a monkey dory. All right, so that's two packs in a row with nothing. Is there anything in this three-pack blister? Kill the watch roll. Come on. Community center, Rillaboom, seeking, and a frostlass. So still nothing. Okay, I was about to do a the pack trick for sword and shield with the four cards, but I stopped myself and did just one in time. What do we have in this one? Hyperoma, a spec, not bad. Oh, nice. We've got a Sinitcha EX, a special illustration. So, very, very good. A double banger pack. Very nice. I love these double banger packs. It's a bit sad that they went away for a while with Paradox Rift, but I'm glad to see them back, even if it's with an A spec. It is still uh, good to see, as we get another special illustration. I'm very happy about that, because these are not that common anymore. They are quite hard to get at this point. But we have two now. Very cool. Hopefully we can keep the pulls coming as we head into the next pack. Let's go Finizen, Watril, Glimmet, Diplin, Community Center, come on. We can do it, Senegast and Infernape, <laughs> alright. Apparently we can't do it, not at that time. But that's alright, we've been having some good pulls so far. Emolga, Polyrath, we need, we need some good stuff. Okay, another A-spec, Unfair Stamp. We've been getting quite a lot of these. A lot more than in Temporal Forces. A bit surprising, but that's cool. I will definitely take it. Alright, next up. Let's see what the next pack has in store for us. 
Brute Bonnet, Enhanced Hammer, Kilowattro, Lucian, or Lucha, and a Luxray EX. We didn't get a lot of EX cards in the last episode, and we haven't been getting a lot of EX cards in this episode. So that's a bit surprising actually. Let's see if that changes in the future, if we've just been getting lucky in terms of the types of pools we're getting. Let's go Wattrell, Glimmet, Twaki, Heliolisk, more Pico, Carmine, Aerocross, Rookie, Chandler, and Okie Dogie again. Uh, lots of Okie Dogies in our life right now. That's okay on the new set. It happens. It's the, the new Hollows. They get repeated a bunch. Let's see if our luck changes in the future. It's been uh, quite a few packs with no pulls so far. Hopefully that changes very, very soon. As we get Carmine, Swana, Luxio, Monferno, and a Frostlass. So yeah, quite a few 3-pack blisters with no pulls. Very interesting. Love Ball, Scullipede, Bellybolt, Ilioptile, and a Chimechu, and a Chandler. Alright, I've been noticing that on a lot of these packs I've been hiding the first letter or two for the code card so hopefully you can figure out what the missing letter is because i don't have the code cards anymore as we get a poltergeist illustration rare so that's very cool and the iron leaves i love these illustrations with interaction of pokemon and humans so big fan I will try to make sure that on the next episodes i i don't just cover part of the code card. That was a, a bit sad. Alright, let's see what's next in store. In uh, Twilight Masquerade. We've been having a good amount of luck. Been very happy with the pulls. Oh, we got a Probo Pass illustration. Again, the interaction of humans and Pokemon. Big fan, big fan. That's a nice holo as well on the Infernape. One of my favorite from the set. I think it's going to be Infernape and the Arcanine, both of them really cool, both of them on top for me. And we get the Sushi, Tatsugiri Illustration Rare. People were talking about this card a lot before the launch. It kind of died down a bit after, but still cool, very happy to get it. Alright, next pack, Corefish Grookey. What can we get? Accompanying Flute, Boomerang Energy, all the long names. And we get a Hyper Rare, the Luminous Energy. Gold card, so that's quite nice. Gold cards are also quite difficult to get. They're not always my favorite from the set, because we've got stuff like Luminous Energy. But it's still good to get for the collection, of course. What's next? Sunkern, Abra. Come on, Snorrent, Slurpuff, Melodic, Perrin, Luxio, Girder, and Pheasant DPD. Very easy name to say, of course, as with some of the recent Pokemon, <laughs> we get some of the weirdest names of all time. Let's go, Dracloak, Palafin, Chiyu, Lucky Helmet, Poltergeist, Eren, and Ogapon. We didn't have a lot of Ogapons in our life yet, so quite surprising considering the mask is a big part of this set. Let's see what this pack has. A Venipid and a Pinsir. Oh, I love the art style on this Pinsir. Very, very cool. It is a very cool design. He looks so happy. He looks like the happiest Pinsir in the world right now. And that's nice. Alright, what else can we pull today? I mean, things have been going so, so well. Loads of illustrations. We've got special illustration, we've got a gold card. I do wonder if we're gonna be able to pull something else. Let's see, Spinrack, Sandshrew, Darumaka, Sand Slash, Lucian, come on. Any other pull, Growlithe. Ooh, nice, Lannis Aid, Full Art Trainer. We seem to be getting a lot of full art trainers and no full art EXs. That's a bit weird, but I will take it. 
It's a nice pool. What's next? Come on. Rillaboom, Handheld Fan, more Pico, Farfetched, Sand Slash. Oh, just an Infernape. It's uh, one of my favorite hollows, but we've pulled out quite a bit now. Alright, we still got a few more packs left. A few more chances to pull. Some some cool stuff still. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, there's the Pheasant DPT again. And as we go for the next pack, Sandy Gast Phoebus. Oh, I love that Bulpix just sleeping. Looks so cute. Okay, another A spec, Survival Brace. Very interesting. We've been getting a lot of A spec cards. And there's the Arcanine. It looks awesome. I love this holo. But yeah, we've been getting a lot of A spec cards. Uh, more than I expected, at least. I think it's been three already in this episode. Certainly more than uh, what we were getting in Temporal Forces. So, very interesting. One of them was a double banger pack as well. I'm I'm very happy to see the double banger packs coming back. That's a nice Clefable. Love the art on it. Seeking Alakazam. Alakazam is so cool. All that evolution line is cool. Abracadabra and Alakazam. Come on. What's in this one? A Mighty Inna. Iron Bundle. Enhanced Hammer. Sand Shrew. A my Cargo Yex. Alright, we, we pulled this one before, but still nice to see another Yex card. We still got plenty of those to collect, surprisingly. I thought it would be quite a lot easier to get those. As we get a Palo Sand and Iron Leaves. Cool. Next pack. Come on. Frogadier, Illumise, Apple Nose Pass, and Jamming Tower, Glaceon. <laughs> We've got Diplin and Applin, alright, cool. And a Chandelure. It's been a while since we pulled something now. Two packs. We <laughs> we've been getting quite lucky, so uh, let's see if we get some more. Cook. Luxio. Okay, a promo pass again. <laughs> Repeated illustration. That's okay. I will definitely take that. Just two more packs left. Let's see what we got in store in the last two packs of the episode. Hopefully there's still time for at least one more pull. Uh, let's see Flabebe. Infernape. Okay. And now for the final pack. Are uh, we gonna get some final pack magic? We always wonder if we're gonna get some final pack magic. Seeking. Come on. Snorrent, Sand Slash, Iron Bundle, Illusion. Okay, an Ace Pack, a Secret Box. Let's go. Not bad for Final Pack Magic. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.